Welcome and thank you for investing your time with me around our bite size Azure series. My name is Jason Lambert. I'm cloud technical consultant for Microsoft Azure at Ingram Micro. And today I would like to discuss with you how to estimate a virtual machine. All right, I'm going to steam along here rather quickly. I'm going to put Azure uh, Calculator Estimator, my favorite browser. And you're going to see that the calculator will pop up, usually in the top two or three links. Once I open it up, I'm going to get these modules on the left side here. So I'm going to go to Compute. We're talking about virtual machines today. I'm going to add a virtual machine to my estimate. I just clicked that, and it popped up as an estimate. That box went away, so I can just close that. And um, here's my virtual machine. Starting at the top, I can change it. So if I wanted to call it um, an application server uh, for my customers, so they better understand what it is. I also get the region to pick. So if I want to do US East, West, North, Central, South Central, or Central US, which would be down here, those are the five regions within uh, the United States of America. I can pick one of those. Also, I can decide whether I want to use open source, Windows, or SQL Server. Microsoft on the Windows side, whether it's 2008 or 2012 or 2016, actually 2008 has been retired in Azure. It doesn't mean that it won't run. It just means if you create a new machine uh, through the control panel, you will not see an option to create a 2008 machine. You can import a 2008 machine. Uh, but 2012 and 2016 are also available. I'm not going to get into managed disk. I'm going to talk about that in a storage uh, presentation. The, the tiers that you have is basic and standard. Basic is just a, doesn't it support load balancing and auto scaling, which standard does. And quite frankly, the price delta between basic and standard is minimal. So I'd encourage you to use standard wherever possible. And then I'm going to pick my instance size here. So I get anything, again, on other presentations I've talked about you know, the different uh, virtual machine sizes. I can also click these little blue boxes. So if I need to understand more, there's a lot of these little blue circles, sorry, uh, I can select. Also, I've got one virtual machine here and 744 hours. That would be a 31 day month broken down in hours. And that's really good for an estimate. On the right side, you're gonna see here, I put my application server in. So as I add additional services through this, uh, where I go to add items, I can add in networking and storage. So compute networking and storage traditionally are the main pieces in and around traditional infrastructure up in Azure. Um, I can add additional in there if I like. And then I've got the ability to purchase options. Again, if you're going to purchase through Ingram Micro, you're not going to click that box. But I get down here and I can export my estimate. So that's going to pop up down at the bottom. I can save it. And if I wanted to be able to work with my customer, uh, understand everything on here is MSRP pricing. So you will see the same price your customer could see. And we want to be able to, um, have, there's another presentation around how to make money on Azure. So we can talk more about how to present this to your customer so that you can maximize your profits. Well, hopefully uh, that would give you enough information here today. Uh, to talk to learn about how to estimate an Azure virtual machine. Thanks so much for investing your time with me and I look forward to seeing you around uh, our Azure bite size uh, series here. Thank you.